Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the YSL collection for you. It's not a big collection, but these are the bags that I own at this point in my life and I would like to share it with you. If you did not subscribe yet, please do so. I will really appreciate it. So uh, let me start by telling you about my previous video. So I recorded a video about five months ago and I'll uh, link it in the description box below. And that was about my Lou camera bag uh, that I used to have. So I got that bag uh, about half a year ago when they just came out. It was super hard to get one, um, the one that I wanted, which was the black with gold hardware. So first I got the one with the silver hardware, then I exchanged it for the gold hardware. Then I had that bag for about two months and I've noticed that the leather where the zipper was on that bag started to like bulge up and uh, the bag like really deformed a little on top. So instead of the rectangular shape, it became like a little bit of a triangle shape on top. So I contacted the YSL store and they told me that this is a normal wear and tear with this bag that they see it all the time. Well, I wasn't satisfied with that uh, answer. So I went back to the store and I asked them to take a look at it. Uh, I didn't think it's a normal wear and tear after just a couple of months. And I wasn't wearing this bag every day, okay? So uh, they told me that they'll send this bag to the YSL factory and they'll contact me in about six weeks with their decision. So after about eight weeks, um, the YSL contacted me and they told me, like they said before, this is a normal wear and tear and uh, they see, like I said, all the time, like the leather is like soft on top. So I guess they said this is normal. And by the way, that bag, it doesn't scratch. It has, it is a good bag. I just didn't like the shape of it, I guess. And I, I spent so much money on it. I mean, in comparison to the other bags, the price, it is a good price point. But still, I don't believe it should get deformed so early in life when you're spending this much money. Um, so anyway, I talked to the YSL people um, through the email and they just decided to give me a store credit and I was happy and satisfied. So long story short, I would like to show you the bag that I exchanged my Lou camera bag for. So this is the bag that I decided to go with. Um, but at that time, uh, the YSL came out with the smaller version of the Lou camera bag, which is adorable. I actually like it much more than I like the previous bag that I have, um, that I had. It has a pocket on the back and I'll, I'll attach the picture here. I like that small version of the camera bag much more than I liked the bag that I had. Um, it has a pocket on the back. It just looks fancier because of the strap. It has a chain strap. So if you're thinking about the camera bag, this is the one I would suggest. Go with the smaller version. I think it's even cheaper as well. And it, it looks adorable, okay? But I was like, sick of the camera bags at that time and I decided to go for something fancier and this is what I got. So this is a wallet on the chain and this is a bigger size. So uh, YSL has two sizes. There is a smaller wallet on the chain and this one. And the price difference, I'll, I'll, put, it, um, I'll, uh, I'll put it below. I don't remember, I think it's about $300 price difference. So this is a bigger version and it opens up like so. It still has the protective stickers right here, but I did use this bag already. I used it actually multiple times. I took it to a wedding once and just going shopping and I love this bag. It fits a lot. It has this beautiful chain and I'm about 5'6 and it is not a crossbody bag for me. Uh, but I just wear it like on the shoulder like so um, and I will show you at, at the end how I look with it standing up but um, 
if you like a uh, crossbody version, then you have to go for the smaller bag, the one that is cheaper. It is smaller, but it is a crossbody version. It has a little um, leather strap for the shoulder, so it's, you know, it doesn't go into the shoulder. Uh, but the rest is a chain just like this one. So I decided to go with the black with gold hardware. <laughs> this is my favorite color. Uh, it just looks super fancy and I use it as a clutch. So basically all I have to do is just put this chain inside and it becomes a clutch. Or uh, you can remove the chain altogether, but it is not necessary because the bag is so roomy. I put my keys, uh, my car keys, my home keys, I put my um, card holder, even though it has a lot of slots for the cards. Um, I put my phone and I have the XR, which is a pretty big phone. I put it inside as well. What else? I had uh, my money. I even had my glasses in here. So, I mean, this is a roomy bag. Um, so yes, I love this bag a lot. I recommend it a lot. It doesn't scratch, I don't baby it at all. Uh, it looks brand new and I have it for about half a year now. Okay, so this is actually my second YSL bag. Uh, let me show you my first YSL bag that I got uh, last year. And this is the YSL Clutch. This is a beautiful black leather with a silver hardware. And the leather is a little bit, it is a grain leather, but it is a little bit different than the previous bag that I showed you. But super durable bag as well. So my husband actually got it for me for our wedding anniversary. And this, I guess, started the obsession for me with my bags. <laughs> Before this bag, I wasn't addicted to luxury handbags, but it's his fault, okay? So he got me this bag and, um, I love this bag a lot and I use it like when I go out as well but I was always like complaining how I need a bag uh, to have a strap so I can have like a drink in my hand or food in my hand and just you know a bag, a bag as well so uh, that's why I got the wallet on the chain as well plus the wallet on the chain has the gold hardware and this one has the silver hardware so I'm all set both occasions uh, if I'm wearing the silver earrings or the gold earrings. Now I need a nude bag <laughs> but that's another story. So uh, basically it opens like so. It just has one opening and one slip pocket. No zipper, nothing like that. It's magnetic closure, super easy to close and to open. It's much easier to open and close than the previous bag uh, because that one you actually have to find like a button and press on it this one you don't you just let it go and it closes um, it carries as much as that previous bag that i showed you so pretty much everything i've mentioned my keys my phone money everything goes inside as well so and i took it to a party once and I had my lipstick, my liquid lipstick inside. And actually, I don't know how, but it like licked inside my bag. And it was like a, it was a nude color lipstick, but it was super visible like all over the leather. And I freaked out, it was my first time carrying this bag. And I just took a wet wipe and it just washed off. And I can't see any marks anywhere. It looks like new. If you like look super closely, maybe you can see a little bit, but it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I used it, it was raining that day. I mean, everything was going wrong that day and my bag looks like me. So this is my first bag. And let me show you my third bag. <laughs> so all of these bags pretty much uh, are bought within a year. So yeah, um, so this is a very cute bag. This is a Lulu in a toy size and a neutral color with the silver hardware. And I like how squishy it is. The leather is like beautiful. I don't baby this bag at all. I like throw it everywhere in the car. It's very good quality. 
leather, okay? I do have one complaint about it. This is the strap. So the strap is so simple. It's just a plain leather strap and it doesn't look dressy at all. This is just like a crossbody bag. It, the, the strap is removable, so you can use this bag as a clutch, but I think it looks weird as a clutch since it's like too puffy. Um, so I never use it as a clutch. Uh, you can actually use it as a wristlet as well. So this, you can detach this part and just leave this little part right here and use it as a wristlet. But again, I think it looks weird like that as well. So I only use it as a um, crossbody bag and it, it, it's just too long to carry like on my shoulder. So I wish I would go for a small size instead of a Lulu um, toy size. So the small size is a little bit bigger, but it has a go like a um, chain strap, which is, you can, it just looks so much better with that chain. It looks dressy. It, it looks beautiful. So um, my thought about this bag is um, it's pretty if you have a lot of bags and if you need just a crossbody bag. Uh, it fits a lot. It fits like everything. It fits my sunglasses, my wallet, like my little wallet, my keys. Um, like it, it fits a lot. It has two pockets inside and a slip pocket in the middle and there is a zip compartment like on the back so it has a lot of pockets um, here it has four slots for your cards so you don't even need to carry your wallet or a card holder it has like everything in this bag the closure is super simple magnetic closure uh, again i think i want the small size instead of this one so i'm thinking about selling this bag and um, yeah, I'm thinking about selling this bag actually. So this will be leaving my collection, but these two bags that I've mentioned are definitely staying and these are my forever pieces. And um, lastly, just about a week ago, I got my latest thing and this is a little card holder. It is also a black leather with the gold hardware and it's super cute and so basically um, as you can see I carry it already and it has two of my credit cards here um, my ID so basically four slots two here two on the back and then there's this middle compartment that is super tight to get to but I'm thinking maybe because it's new um, but yeah I have like one card in there as well it's like super hard to get to but you can put like some money inside as well and or like receipts or whatever so thin it will fit any type of bag that you have any mini bag um i love it i recommend it i got it on sale so the regular price is 275 dollars and i got it for 150 dollars um, at neiman marcus so i think it's a great deal they did send it to me without a box or there's no authenticity card as well, just a tag with the price, the $275 price and the receipt. And there was a dust bag as well, but that's it. But I'm not complaining, 150 bucks. I think I'll use it a lot and um, I'll attach that video below in the description box as well, where I unbox and talk more about this piece. And so please look at the description box. I'll have all of those videos linked there. And like I said, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of other bags that I will share with you. And um, right now, let me just show you how these bags look on, um, on me. And uh, thank you for watching. By the way, I'm um, very pregnant right now, so my modeling shots will not be like the best. But like I said, I'm 5'6". And this is how the wallet unchained looks on me. Okay, so this is how pregnant I am now. <laughs> and uh, okay, so this is my wallet on the chain and this is how I carry it. Like I said, the crossbody will be too short. I think it's too short, um, but it looks really pretty just on the shoulder like this.
This is how it looks on the side. Okay, so my next bag is this clutch right here. So I just hold it like this. And obviously if you have some food, you can hold it like this. But like I said, it's a nice bag, but it's not very practical, but I love it. Okay, and lastly is this Lulu bag. So this is how it looks crossbody. And if you want to put it on the shoulder, this is how it looks. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.